We're deep diving back into the ban list here. Well, I, I at least want to talk about the SP problem that's starting to arise here. Make sure you guys smash that little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. So we're starting off over here with SP Little Knight. Um, a lot of people were pointing, you know, at the last list kind of going, wow, you know, Konami's completely incompetent, you know, why would they hit this card to two, you know, this is a complete and utter joke. And the amount of posts that I have read, you know, just mocking this from, you know, the last couple of months has been insane. But today we saw SP go to one. What ended up happening was this was Konami's way without telling us, hey, this card's on a watch list, all right? If you have excess copies of this, uh, you best buckle up. It's probably going to get cratered. You proceed to this list. Guess what? SP's limited to one. So now, I guess this this begs the question of, does next list mean that we see SP Little Knight leave the game? Or is SP earned their spot on the list as a permanent resident? Um, I'm fine with either method to this, honestly. I think that SP Little Knight is an insane card, but I also think having the card limited to one ensures that you don't have to worry about people playing multiple copies to, you know, just kind of pull something crazy off. Now, most of this, I mean, two and one are the go-to. I have seen hardly, I've seen no decks playing three. So, will the TCG fall suit with this? Probably not. I think that this is a very Zeus-oriented situation out here where, you know, take a look at Zeus and, you know, what we've had to deal with in terms of that little interesting shenanigans. So, for now, I don't think anything more is going to happen to SP immediately. I think the card is a, in a functional vacuum as a one-of that you can, you've handled your opponent's one. I no longer have to deal with that resource. That's good. And that's properly what should probably happen to this. Now, the Snake Eyes hits to the OCG. So I've read from people going, wow, you know, like, I can't believe this. You know, Snake Eyes Ash, you know, as a one, they, they didn't hit the deck anymore. Well, they did put, you know, Snake Eyes Ash, or uh, we lost Bonfire to two. So in terms of your consistency hits, I mean, you still only have one wanted, two bonfires. Uh, Pobbler's still at three. I mean, sure, original Sinful Spoils is still ticking around, but this is hitting Ash, which was like the central point kind of starter to ensure that you could get into the Pobbler and then have the Pobbler be that little extender to kind of keep on rolling through the combo lines. Um, I think that this was a good hit. Um, bonfire... I guarantee you next list is going to one. Um, there is no way you are getting off the next list without seeing that card getting checked. And I mean, okay, so what, you got triple D Bell Star, you got you know multiple OSS, um, you still have the field spell. I think at this point in time, we've hammered down the consistency on this deck enough heading on into the world season out here. That we don't have to we don't have to worry too much about this. Because you have to remember, this list does two things. It fixes the OCG, but it also sets the stage for worlds here. And you know, cleaning up anything Snake Eyes related here is good. Is it enough? Um, I think Konami's trying to dance that very fine line here to kind of see what they can do along the way. Um I don't know. I think that Snake Eyes in its current iteration is fine, but yeah, interesting. Next up is the Sengen, or the, the Field Spell hit out here. Finally, all right, I have been saying Tenpai needed their Field Spell to go to one for so long. A, this deck is, we, we needed a good ignorant deck to exist in the game that could just ignorantly play around a large set of hand traps. We needed that. What we didn't need was a field spell that basically made them all unaffected, allowed you to do 18,000 damage, and be a universal searcher all on one card. Um, that was too much. This field spell 
going to one cuts the deck off of I mean they they can still play set rotation they can still play you know terraforming to get to this but now those hand traps are going to be so much more lethal and you know what guess what everybody if you want to imperm ash you know you want to do anything to that pydra you want to veil it you'll probably be able to get it to stick so you can do your thing problem with all this though is uh if if one of these guys does get the chance to stick and they're in battle phase, um, it's going to be pretty disgusting. I think that this deck will still be a high tier competitor with one field spell, um, or we'll see it splashed. That's something that we could actually see. I wonder if people will come up with a new form of this deck, trying to adapt the ideas of this deck without... A, with just the one field spell. That would be the most interesting thing. Because we've seen it be splashed a little bit, but the pure build has definitely been the most consistent method of getting things done. Because, you know, one turn is all you need to get the game done here. Now, let's talk about these FTKs. So the Catapult Turtle FTK was 100% searchable thanks to the <laughs> the stupid card. You reveal, what, C101 in your extra deck? With the new card to be able to go search i think you can reveal what 103 as well you had two multiple search targets to get to this stupid catapult turtle out here but it ended up you know four level four, uh four level eight monsters got you into like a ftk and it was pretty consistent it was that's where konami likes to hit these ftks and things like that is when they pass into the realm of being relevant decks um, we have some pretty cheesy FTKs here in the TCG, but they're not consistent. It's when you're hitting that 70, 60 range of consistency, and the Catapult Turtle, I've tested it, it's bonkers. I'm really glad to see that the OCG preemptively took this hit to clean this up. And, of course, the whole Gimmick Puppet thing. Now, for those of you that are like, well, Gimmick Puppets have been pretty low on tier list. I mean, yes, they have, but that doesn't stop you from walking into a Locals and just getting Gimmick Puppet FTK'd. <laughs> like, you have to understand that. Two strings was essentially how they did most of the FTK stuff. By putting that limitation on this, they slash this FTK out of the meta, and we don't have to deal with the consistency of this monster running around. That's what Konami wanted to do here. They wanted these very consistent FTKs, by the way. Yeah, thank you, searchers. I love the fact... Hmm, how many ignorant field spells have we made recently that have turned into problems that we've had to immediately backpedal on and clean up? Hmm, the Gimmick Puppet one and the Tenpai one. Huh. Well, you know, we didn't have to hit the Gimmick Puppet field spell. We just had to hit the card that allowed the degeneracy to actually happen. Really strange to actually see this all come full circle, but okay. And the last thing I want to talk about here is the Dragon Rulers. So... I'm just going to say this. I don't think the Dragon Roller is going to do shit. Um, looking at them, uh, I would love the TCG to immediately push these cards to three just so we can mess around with them. Um, we just got Blaze the Supreme Dragon Roller here. Finally released an Animation Chronicle. Thank you. Uh, about it, it took too long for us to finally get Animation Chronicle. And I mean, granted, this set... Kind of kind of not the greatest thing in the world. I, I do think, you know, pull rates for this are what actually makes this set, you know, worth approaching. But, you know, we can play some Dragon Rulers. I, I actually, there was an OCG list that was like an Armed Dragon Pile Thunder deck that showed up. Oh, man, it's been, it's been like a month or two now since we've actually seen that. And that list was genuinely some of the coolest interactions that I've had the chance to see. And, you know, we need these multiple dragon rulers to kind of facilitate some of this stuff. Am I saying that this is going to be good? No. But this does open up the door to be able to test these ideas. You know, we have to make these into a certain reality out here just so we can actually test out some of these ideas and see what we can possibly come up with along the way. But overall... Uh, a lot of good things happened on this list. Might not be what people wanted to see, but I think we're in a good position kind of going forward here. So what do you think? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back in the day, guys. Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.